You wanted to see that? No way. Have you ever wondered what a metal detector might uncover at your property? We were lucky enough to have a professional come around to see what our 1920s Queenslander had hidden under the surface. And we actually found some stuff. This is Harold from History Out There. After seeing our house history video, Harold offered to fill in the missing pieces and do a metal detecting search around the yard. Searches like these help to uncover treasures which mark significance and give us an insight into those who lived here previously. We first started at the front of the house. I learned that detectors research historical photos of the property and look for patterns in the topography to see which areas were used the most. The first find was right outside our front steps. Um, with this thing, I'm guessing the 60s because it's like 50% silver. If it's pre 45 or before, it's still. It's a sixpence, George VI. So it's 50s, so it's 50s, I'm guessing. 1950, by the look of it. That's so cool. So it's not gold, at least you've got to find it. <laughs> yeah. But it's sounding like silver. Ooh. I think so. Yeah, that lump of lead. Big lump oh, of lead. Oh, lead. Which comes up like silver. Huh. I'll there pop that in my pocket. <laughs> Always comes up a lot like silver, and it was. I thought it was going to be like a florin, like a big silver. Oh. But it was just a big lead. Big old piece of lead. <laughs> you got to dig it. Ah, it's a hypnic. King George the sixth again. You can see his head, George. That's awesome. Fifties. Okay, there's another, another hat. Uh huh. So it's a little coin spill. Two hat knees right by the window. It's George, it's George the sixth again. There it is, it's a, it's a penny. There. I love pennies, nice big lumps of copper. Same period. Same as it. Huh. Same as the last one. Add that huh. to your lead collection. <laughs> we might be collecting lead after all. A nice penny. How cool is that? Oh. Well, I've got the year this time. 1952. Oh my gosh. Don't tell me that. You got the kangaroo on that side. There's his head on that side. There's got to be a piece of jewellery or a button. They can't have been that good. No. 
don't think I'll dig it up. Too big. Unless you think it's treasure. I better dig it. You're looking disappointed. <laughs> Ah, oh, it's nothing exciting. Just scrap, scrap metal. Yeah. Oh, there's a lock. Do you think that's the lock from the outhouse? I reckon desperately get in there and ripped off the lock. <laughs> nice big brass lock, Billy. That's nice though. What is that? I've turned around. This will be a hint. <gasps> you know what it is here? No way! It's a probably Second World War Australian Army shoulder flash. Oh How my cool gosh. Is that? This is what we've been waiting for. Now the fella then was living here then. Yeah. He, he actually served the First World War and Second That is awesome. This is what you dream of finding. Oh my gosh, yes! In such I'm good so condition. glad. What is that? I don't know, what is it? You got any ideas? Got no idea. What is that? And there's a little, another bit someone will know. There you can see the one with the little possum. You can have the, have the honor. Oh, thank you. See if I change you up to identify. Oh no. Well, it's not a penny. Oh, 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 oh. It's King George the uh, fifth. Is it? Yeah. Oh my gosh. You it's 1920s. It. It oh, really? No, 30. No, 30s. No, 33. That's an old one? King George the fifth, yeah. I have to paint it up, but he's got a crayon on and stuff like that. It's a hate You can see a different design. Commonwealth of Australia and it. One half penny, 1933. That's so, so cool. Oh, that's pretty cool. I love how you gave me that one twice. <laughs> <laughs> that's an older design. Hmm. So got the fishing line out. My nephews are keen fishermen, so I might, that might end up a with him. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you'd recognise it now. Is it a one cent? Yes. <laughs> ha ha! Huh. This is, this is. Huh. Oh, that's, uh, that's a mystery. Oh, that's thank you. Key. Something. That's a nice, nice little key, though. Yeah. There you go. Another one. Another penny. Another penny. Uh, yeah, good luck. Lift that up. So, here's everything we found. There was no gold or treasure found here, but we did find some really cool small trinkets and coins. The coins we found were dated between the 1930s and the 1990s. This 1950s sixpence came up a real treat. And this 1933 halfpenny or one half penny was the oldest we found. The only item with identifying features was this dog tag and I loved this brass fixture find. The best find of the day was this World War II Australian Army shoulder badge which is in really good nick. If you enjoyed today's video make sure you like and subscribe and don't forget to check out Harold's website historyoutthere.com We'll see you next week. I'll hear enough to have a... Have. I won't throw it. <laughs> I won't catch it. <laughs> you know what it is. Lead. Aww. Yeah. Your lead collection. Our fave. Lead. <laughs> More lead. <sighs> yep. Oh, I got that one. 20s, huh? Bleh.